Hey guys, my name's Tasha Hanuki. I'm a registered nurse. I work at Nepean Hospital um, in the East Block Ambulatory Procedure Centre. Um, my background is I'm half Tongan and half Nguyen. So the appeal of nursing to me was, um, I think, the, the caring manner, the compassion that nurses have. So, I mean, being um, growing up with asthma, I was in and out of hospitals, um, and just seeing the, that side of the ability to help someone to get better and just to care and the skills and knowledge that they actually knew made me feel more like interested in that job role. So um, also volunteering when I was in high school and at a nursing home, that helped, that made me feel like, yeah, I, I like this job, I like caring for people. So it kind of directed me to what I really wanted. Working on the short stay surgical ward is uh, very interesting. Um, the cases and the procedures that we deal with is, um, they're all, they vary. Um, so we deal with um, cases like plastic cases, um, if someone injures themselves, cuts, cuts themselves, lacerations, um, broken bones, um, down to anything with um, noses, jaws, um, a lot, a lot of things. So um, it keeps me going every day. Um, it's challenging every day, it's interesting because you, you learn new skills and knowledge. Um, with what you work with and you, the communication that you have with, with so many teams um, helps you to grow as an individual and your, your sense of knowing more. So going to uni um, was very different, um, it was very um, challenging at first. Um, I'm the first one in my family to actually go to uni and finish. So um, at that time, I mean, being in a society of many islanders who don't really talk about going to uni after high school uh, was, you felt kind of um, isolated in the sense of you kind of have to drive yourself to do it. So um, I think my years at uni, my first year was quite nerve wracking um, in the sense of I had to learn to ask for help. The feeling of me graduating was, um, I can't really put it into words. It was beyond words, um, the, the expression on my parents' face, my, my, my cousins, my brothers, my siblings actually, sorry, um, overwhelming. It was um, to actually achieve something so amazing in my eyes, in my heart, because I've always wanted to become a registered nurse. Um, holding on to my dream kind of made me feel, you know, I can't put it into words. It was better than anything I could ever imagine, actually achieving my goals. What I love um, most about my job is um, the different cases, the procedures we get, um, um, the people we meet. Um, so patients, good patients, doctors, physios, um, social workers, we work in such a, a large team um, that it's just so, it's exciting for me every day to come to work. What keeps me coming back is that I love what I do. Um, um, even though we have our hard days, um, just helping my patients, helping patients and um, to get better when you actually watch them walk out that door and see your work actually, you know, you've made them better or you've helped them with, with their treatment. Um, it's more than what words can kind of, I can't really put into words. I always tend to say, if you want to come to work, okay, let's have fun because I see work as fun, because it's my passion. It's my, I'm actually living my dream. Um, education is so important because with this, um, I've had the opportunity to not only support my family, but I've traveled overseas, things that I couldn't do if I was working in a factory. Um, I've done so much. You can, you can support more of your family. You can give more to your family as we do as Islanders, but still have things in life. So you're not going without. So, if you have a dream, chase it because um, it, anything's possible and the only person that can do it is you. So, good luck. Thank you.